Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today we're going to start a new series that I'm going to call Tech Questions. Today is episode one, and the tech question for today is to find out if electric cars are actually more green than other cars we have, like gasoline cars, diesel cars, um, plug-in hybrids, that kind of thing. So we're going to do the math, calculate it all out, and we'll see which comes out on top. So now we're going to do the math and we're going to compare four cars. We're going to compare the Tesla Model S, which is this one, the Toyota Prius, the 2016, but it is a gasoline version, not the hybrid. We're going to compare the Nissan Leaf, another fully electric car like the Tesla Model S, and we're going to compare to the 2015 Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid. So basically the biggest numbers we need to pay attention to in all of these is the on the electric one, we need to pay attention to the kilowatt hours per 100 miles, which are these two figures, the 35 for the Tesla and the 30 for the Nissan Leaf. And then we also need to pay attention for the gasoline versions of the cars, which are, you know, hybrid is still a gasoline, it does have that same figure, but we have to add that to the gasoline figure. And on the gasoline figure, we're going to need to go to here, and as you can see, grams per mile, which is right here, it is technically zero for an electric, which isn't technically true. It, all this is measuring is out of the tailpipe. On the gasoline car, it is 170 grams per mile. On obviously another electric car, it's zero. And then on the plug and play hybrid, it is 133 grams per mile. So we're gonna convert all of this. The final figure will be how many pounds of CO2 are put out into the environment per 100 miles that the cars have been driven. So for the electric cars to compare how green they are to the gasoline cars, obviously we can't do it out of the tailpipe. You get electricity from somewhere else. That somewhere else in America is coal, is coal, and natural gas. As you can see, coal is 33% and natural gas is 33% as well. So between the two, that is 66% of America's energy. So most likely, your energy is coming from either coal or natural gas if you're living in America and you have an electric car. So therefore, that's where we're gonna have to get however many CO2 pounds per mile. This is where we're gonna have to get that unit from. So now we'll go to their other part of their website. So there's three different kinds of coal, as you can see here. Basically, they're pretty similar as far as the actual metric, but if you were to add all of these up and then divide by three, you're going to get an average of 2.13 pounds of carbon, pounds of CO2 per kilowatt hour. So that's the figure we'll actually use to compare this to the actual gasoline cars. And then as you can see here, there's also natural gas, which is the other one, and that is 1.22 pounds of CO2 per kilowatt hour. Okay, so let's do the math here. So for coal, for a Tesla Model S, it would be 2.13 pounds per kilowatt hour. So kilowatt hours are going to cancel. We're going to do 35 times 2.13, which means that it would be 74.55 pounds of CO2 per 100 miles. And this is natural gas. Yes. OK. 
vacuum that came up to 42.7 pounds of CO2 per 100 miles. So next row we will do, we'll do the next electric car. So we're going to do the Nissan Leaf. And so for the Nissan Leaf, it uses 30 kilowatt hours of energy per 100 miles. So for this one, it will be 30 per 100 miles, which will be same exact units as before for the Tesla. So for coal, Nissan Leaf ended up being 63.9 pounds of CO2 per 100 miles, which is less than the Tesla Model S, so that's looking a little bit better. So let's find out the natural gas one now. And the natural gas for the Nissan Leaf is looking even better at 36.6 pounds of CO2 per 100 miles. Okay, now we're down to the actual true comparisons. Obviously those were two electric cars. Now we're getting into the actual meat of it. With We'll start off with the Let's do the Toyota Prius normal gasoline now. So, Prius gasoline. Okay, so I actually wrote down this conversion wrong, so let me write this down correctly now. So the conversion we need now for the Prius is one gram per mile equals 0.0022 pounds per mile. And so we are going to use that down here. So we are using this unit now. So basically we're going to take this 170 grams per mile and we're going to multiply it by that conversion up there which was 0 0.0022 pounds per mile which equals 0 0.374 pounds per mile which we will multiply by a 100 miles to get the same unit and that comes out to 37.4 pounds of CO2 per hundred miles, just like before. So already we're seeing something pretty interesting. The gasoline Prius beats the pounds of CO2 from the coal Nissan Leaf and the coal Tesla. And it also beats the natural gas Tesla. However, the Nissan Leaf using natural gas just barely beats out the Prius gasoline. So let's see the hybrid now and see if the hybrid kind of sweeps the floor here and maybe makes, maybe it could be better than all of these. Let's see. So Prius hybrid and just put it, it's also a plug in. It's a plug in hybrid, not a normal hybrid. So. So let's see here. So we'll need two different calculations on this one since it's both using electric and gasoline. So let's do the gasoline conversion first, which is we're gonna need that metric. We're gonna do the same calculation we just did on the normal Prius. And that's gonna be a 0 0.2926 pounds per mile. And we're gonna leave it right there for right this second. So let's do the second calculation now which, yep, we needed this page. And so as you can see, the Prius has a max output of 11 miles on electric. And just so you know, if you're confused by this, I double checked it on their website and a couple other ones. It is a max output of 11 miles on the full electric side. So let's say over 100 miles, give it the benefit of the doubt and say it used all 11 of those miles electric wise. So it is a 29 kilowatt an hour per 100 miles electric engine. That's how much energy it uses per 100 miles. So let's do that same conversion we did earlier with the electric cars now. So it's 29 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. We will do a coal version and a natural gas version of this as well. So let's do coal first, which was 2.13 pounds per kilowatt hour. And actually, 
And actually, let's go ahead and make this with per mile so that we get it as the same unit as this over here. So if you were to do it by mile, it would be 0 0.29 kilowatt hours per mile times 2.13 pounds per kilowatt hour. Kilowatt hour is going to cancel out and you're going to have 0 0.6177 pounds of CO2 per mile. So basically to do this conversion right now for coal, we're going to make this unit up here go 89 miles and this one is going to go 11 miles for a total of 100. 26.04 pounds plus 6.79 pounds. We're going to add those two together. And that gives us a total of 32 point, well, let's get this little here, 32.83 pounds of CO2 per 100 miles. And so, it looks like that's doing better already. Because that is with coal as the power. So let's see how much better it could be with natural gas, since we've already kind of established that natural gas is more efficient. So let's do the same calculation. All we'll have to change is this one. Oops. All we'll have to change is this one from above. So now we'll do 0 0.29 kilowatt hours per mile times, and we're going to use 1.22 pounds of CO2 per kilowatt hour. Kilowatt hours is going to cancel out just like before. And that's going to equal 0 0.3538 pounds per mile. And that one's going to be over 11 miles, just like the one before. Which equals 3.89 pounds of CO2. So we're going to add that to the 26.04 from above. And that gives us a grand total of 29.93 pounds of CO2 per 100 miles. Okay. So now that we're looking at it, let's pull all of these up. So we have the Tesla Model S. We have the Nissan Leaf. We have the Prius Gasoline and the Prius Plug-in Hybrid. And it looks like out of all of those, the grand winner of it all ended up being the Prius Hybrid. And that mainly was because it's very efficient as gasoline. As you can see from its 26.04 pounds of CO2 over 89 miles. Obviously if we were to put that out over 100, which I can do for you right now, that would still only be 29.26 pounds of CO2 per 100 miles, which actually beats out everything else on this chart. So just the gasoline side of that Prius hybrid is extremely efficient. So if you look at the electric side, obviously it all it does is aid the motor. The pounds of CO2 from the electric side is also very low, especially compared to the electric cars. So when it all comes out in the end, whether you're getting your energy from coal or natural gas, it still beats out everything else above. So in conclusion, electric cars are not more green than other cars we have today if they're run off of coal or natural gas. However, if they're run off of some clean energy source like solar or wind, then of course they are more efficient and more green than anything else we have today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm going to continue these tech questions, and if you have any tech questions, please post them in the comments below. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!